Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a great day and having a blessed day. All right, guys. So I got this is going to be the last video for these uh, Sun X Sun X ratchets. Now I did order three of the ratchets. The half inch ratchet had gotten lost in the mail. Actually, it said it was delivered, but I never actually received it. So I had that refunded, and I didn't reorder it. Uh, I figured because all these ratchets are they all look the same, so the internals are probably all the same. I just wanted to try them out. Plus. The quarter inch drive ratchet was a dollar more than this ratchet. This ratchet here was on sale for $31. The quarter inch ratchet was $32. So it was a little more than what I wanted to spend for a quarter inch ratchet anyway. So um, we're just going to have the two ratchets, the two Sunex ratchets. All right, guys, so this one is a lifetime guarantee for this ratchet here. It is made in Taiwan and it says Sunex Tools. It's the 3 8 inch drive and it's an 80 tooth ratchet. It's a chrome vanadium construction and we're just going to go ahead and get into this uh, the part number for this is 30080 and when you get this ratchet it is going to come with uh with this on it and it's going to come in this uh this bag here it's going to have some uh, labeling on it as well right there that's what the that's the packaging that it comes in with but again uh looking at your uh, forward and reverse uh switches here they are they are recessed but they're not Recess very deep. Uh, looks like it may be a, a cast uh, type of switch on it. And like I said, the only markings you have on the ratchet are, is just the name Sun X stamped into the handle on both sides. Like I said, the chrome on these ratchets looks very nice. And you do have the single snap ring that is holding this whole thing together. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to peel it open and take a quick look inside. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you do have the Sunex logo on the head, also uh, stamped into the head. But other than that, there's no uh, there's no part numbers or manufacturer part numbers uh, written, stamped anywhere on this thing here. So, good. And it's just a simple snap ring. And I peeled that off, and as you can see, guys, there is some oil on the outside of this. And I'm imagining this is going to be just like the other ratchet that we did, the, the half-inch drive. Okay, here is your, your plate. It's, like I said, it's super thin variety, maybe about a sixteenth of an inch thick, maybe even a little bit smaller than that. But uh, that's pretty much it with that. Uh, let's go, and I want to get, see if I can find what I'm looking for here. Yeah, I want to give you guys a measurement on this real quick before uh, we get too far ripping this thing apart uh, from top to bottom on this ratchet it's about seven seven and seven eighths so it's almost eight inches long so seven and seven eighths of an inch so it's a it's about eight, eight inches long and then here's the inside of the head here now the uh, paws starting to fall out but as you can see here try to let focus it has MA on the pole and it does have an ADT, so it's 80 tooth. And here is your snap or your uh, seal. Now, the seal in the half inch drive had all kinds of uh, wiggle room and play room in here. This is a little bit uh, tighter. There is, I can still see there is some room inside here. Wait for this to focus. I can really see. You guys can see the seal there. Yeah, the, uh, there is some room in there, so the seal is. It's not a super snug fit, but uh, it's better than the half inch drive one. The half inch drive one had a lot of uh, a lot of slop and play in it. Uh, as you can see, there is some oil on that on the inside of it here. And then here's your paw. Uh, it's identical to the half inch drive as well. Uh, nice teeth on there, and I I'm not going to count the teeth, but as you can see, there's the uh, there's the back of the paw. Or the groove is, and that groove is going to sit on the back of this ratchet here as well. When you put it back together, make sure that your uh, numbers are facing out. And then here is your detent with the single spring, and it still has the same design with the uh, middle piece here. And then the back of the pole sits up on the back of this piece right here. And then that, that's pretty much it for that. And then you can just pop your switch. Pop your switch out. Okay, and here is your switch. And as you can see, just like the half-inch drive, it does have the uh, 
the o-ring right here in the inside of it so there's your o-ring there's your switch like I said there it's a it's a light oil in there you know, take a quick look on the inside uh, broaching and the chrome and the uh, metal inside everything looks really good uh, center wise machining looks pretty center pretty much spot on uh, now this one when I took this reverse switch out of this one it was a lot more tighter in it so maybe that uh, that half inch drive it was just a you know a milling error where it was a little bit sloppy but that one in there that uh, seal it felt like it was in there pretty tight so the tolerances in this one feel pretty good but that's it guys that's the inside of the ratchet that's the tear down of the ratchet now we'll just uh, go ahead and we'll start reassembling starting with putting the switch back in and you feel that click so you know you got good um, pressure with the seal and your uh, your paw can go back inside and remember the uh, the big part goes towards the back and that light that light grease or heavy oil or grease is a little so that put that in there like that and then we can drop our pull back in there make sure you just uh, tilt it to one side and like push it down push it down the uh, pole down the detent down and hold it the pole with your thumb and then you should be able to rock in your uh, rock in your uh, your your anvil your hit whatever you want to call it and again guys I'm not going to use any uh, uh, heavy grease or super lube I'm just going to put oil in here because uh, these super fine ratchets, I've had bad luck with putting uh, any kind of heavy uh, grease or l even light grease in these ratchets because it seemed like they want to bind up. And we'll just throw our cover plate back on and go right to our snap ring and all the snap rings. I noticed that all the uh, the ears of, of them were at the top of the ratchet instead of at the bottom of the ratchet. I know some of the a lot of the ratchets I have on the, uh, the ears are at the at the, the bottom of it, but for whatever the uh, they put theirs at the top, which is kind of interesting. And just push that in there, make sure it's in there nice and tight, and give it a give it a feel. Like I said, that feels pretty good, and I don't see the uh, switch in the back jumping around as I'm using it. We'll get a uh, get a socket and we'll check out the detent. Here's our here's our gear wrench socket, and we'll just uh, we'll check out the detent, and it looks like it fits in there pretty good. And I'm putting a pretty good amount of pressure on this thing, and it doesn't want to come off. So the detent detent's pretty strong, so I'm happy with the detent. Uh, this ratchet here feels a lot better than the half inch ratchet, so I could definitely recommend this. Uh, this ratchet here, if you want to try it out, uh, the half inch ratchet, the uh, craftsmanship of it uh, was a little sketchy for me. The reverse switch was a little sloppy and whatnot, but this one here, feel, the tolerances feel a whole lot better inside this ratchet. So, um, well, that's it, guys. I just want to say thank you, guys. Uh, thanks for checking out the video, and I just hope everyone has a great day and has a blessed day. All right, everyone. Thank you, and have a good evening.